Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, um, warships kind of like these lights behind me. For whatever reason, they, they work today when I turn them on. I didn't touch them. I didn't look at them. I honestly didn't even think about it that much. But uh, it's very similar. I was thinking about it as I was uh, starting up the video here. It's very similar to warships. Sometimes stuff just works. And sometimes it just doesn't. So, um, yeah. Today it doesn't. Today it doesn't. I'll be honest. I don't have much to go over today. We can show you a couple different options. Um, on how to attack and uh, that kind of thing but uh, my problem is as I'm saving for five engines uh, I have a lot of keys I'm sitting on so I'm I'm going up against everyone that has spent all of those keys on defenses or um, other things so it's it's very difficult at four engines right now to uh, progress and honestly if I wasn't making a video today I probably wouldn't even be playing but um, you know we still got to uh, we still got to, um, well, we got to stay in gold. That's what we have to do right now. But I thought I was going to be able to get to 18 yesterday. But, um, you know, right now, that's not in the cards. So, I mean, right now, mortars are hot. Flamethrowers are nice. Um, the people that are going to succeed at 4ER, they have mortars, they have boom mines, they have flamethrowers, and they have shock launchers. So, I mean, if you can get all of that stuff and build up a nice 4 engine base and do it within the next day or two... You're going to be laughing. You're going to be um, doing really well. But I think my diamond window, my early diamond window, is going to rest with uh, with five engines. And also we have a sky shield right here. And then we have a cryo bomb right there. So maybe warriors will be in the mix. Um, I've been messing around with warriors a lot today. I did max them out. Um, can't find anything consistent. I think they are very good. I just think they're very hard to use. That's the only problem. So, guys, enjoy the videos. Appreciate you use the code chicken in the shop. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 30k uh, before the end of season 30. That is the goal. So, appreciate it if you watch the videos regularly and you haven't subscribed. Do me a favor and just hit that button uh, down below if you if nothing else. So, um, yeah, let's go over a couple good attacks here. Shout out to my man BS Vinny giving me the uh the the lone dub in a, in a bunch of losses but um yeah what happened here do we get any good attacks not really <laughs> um i have one good warrior attack i mean we can just kind of talk about it i don't want to show you a bad attack and explain it because it seems kind of dumb um <clears throat> basically we can use four warriors to take out this engine and this engine depending on the mine cluster right there and then we can use another boat, uh, another four boats of warriors up the left-hand side. And you can also sprinkle Kavan in behind them with a couple second wins. That'll get you like an extra two boats of warriors. So typically, you know, when you're doing this, when you're trying to do warriors and you're splitting up the base, it's just whatever mines are going to get are, be harder to go through, that's the side you want to put Kavan on. So, uh, for example, if we're looking at my base, you could go four warriors left right off the start. Take out those two engines. And then put four warriors uh, with a couple of Kavan second winds right up the middle. Um, and then move them over this way. And then just hopefully they don't all cross over all those mines at the same time. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I've also been messing around with warrior and heavy cryo. Um, which is also a thing. Just haven't been able to get it to work for me. Um, you can send three warriors or even two warriors depending on what's there up on the right side. Take out that engine. And then free clear everything else. Um... This one honestly doesn't look too bad for just straight warriors. So, I mean, let's try that. Uh, yeah, let's try straight warriors on this one. So, we are going to go. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delay drop them a little bit so they don't all walk over those mines at the same time. Um, and then we're simply going to flare them up here. And then I'm going to shock uh, the splash. Because <clears throat> we want to keep them alive. We can't keep them alive. There's no point in using them. Um, all right, so they should all go to the machine gun next. There we go. We'll take out the rest of that stuff. And then as they come up and around the other side, we'll shock the machine guns. And we're just going to gun it straight for that engine. Now, as warriors hit stuff, they do heal up. So keep that in mind. Um, so if you're going to hit something, it's better to hit it early on. Let's shock here next. Bang. Okay. And we can't really delay them too much. <clears throat> Not, uh, thankfully, this guy's base is really easy for warriors, so... So let's go like this, and what I like to do to get away from the mines is just something like that. Now I'm going to need some shocks here as we get towards the end, but you'll see there, they still want to walk through all that stuff over there, so um, let's flare them over here next. 
I think we should have enough to be safe. I think we should. I don't want them to eat that mortar the whole time, so we're going to uh, put a shock right there and hit those two. We'll let them clear this stuff. And spread out a little bit. And then we can go like that. Some, some, some. A little bit late on that shock. That's okay. And there we go. I mean, if we can pull it off, like I think we just did. There we go. You know, we can get a good time. 232 is not bad. We should win most of, if not all, the matches um, if we're doing them at that pace. But it's tough. It's not an easy attack strategy. And it's very easy to uh, go over some mines and blow the whole thing. So, 221. There we go. <clears throat> so... That's how we want to be using warriors, for the most part. Now, let's see what this guy did, because he got an okay time as well. I think, he, yeah, he's just doing heavy cryo, which, I mean, still works, and it's still safe, but to progress, really, we need something that's a little bit faster. A little bit faster. The problem with these guys is they all kind of clump towards the middle. It's almost impossible to get them to split drop towards the left. Um, you see right there, he's doing everything he can to get them to do that, but it's just not... Um, it's just not very fast. It's just not very fast, the problem, so... I'll try this again. Again, the problem is going to be when we face some of that other other stuff that we were talking about. I did fall down to 16, so, I mean, we're not facing crazy maxed out bases, but... Um, yeah, the problem is... This looks like an anti-warrior, kind of, yeah. Um, man, this one we might be able to just heavy rush. What do you think? Maybe not. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> I think for this one, let's try something a little bit different. Let's try this, because he's got nothing defending um, this stuff up here. So let's flare up this way. Like, there's no mines over there, so I mean, the warriors are going to rip through that pretty nicely. <clears throat> and I flared the boom cannon. One, because I wanted to take it out so we have enough warriors to take down the engine. Two, because I want that flare to expire so I can put these guys down here nice and early. Which it's going to do right now, and then the flare is going to expire. So, um, yeah, we're looking nice over here. And the good thing, too, is when you're using warriors like this and they all die, having warriors as a second win option is actually pretty nice. Um, so they're all going to die here. But, like I said, that's uh, fine because we can resurrect them. And then it's nice for when you're rushing because you get that extra quick little bit of damage. Um, and it works out pretty okay. So let's flare now. Wow, this guy's taking us down fast. Um, <clears throat> and we'll go over here. He's already done. Wow. Um, all right, so let's move this way. We got lots of second wins. We might have been scouting. I don't know. It seems like he took us down in, in really good time. Um, all right, let's go straight over here for this. Now we'll start in with the second wins. Shock. Second wind. And you see what I mean? We can get those words, but it's the same problem. They all get kind of uh, coagulated in the middle, and then we got nothing left for um, for the rush, really. Okay, let's shock here again. I mean, that wasn't horrible, but just uh, not really fast enough to be competitive, unfortunately. So, there's a couple different ways of using them. That's the best I could do. That's the best I got. <laughs> That's the best I got today. We're stuck sitting on a pile of keys waiting for five engines, so... Um, hmm. That could make a nice background for a thumbnail. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm hotspotting uh, from my phone because the Wi-Fi is not working for some reason. Um, but yeah, what did he get? 245? That's like, <laughs> that's blazing fast. He must have used all warriors for sure. So, I mean, here's another. It just depends on the mind setup, you know. I'm interested to see what he did here, though, because I would struggle against my base. Uh, using all warriors so he went all the way around i think i gotta move these mines over here they're not really doing much of anything um yeah so let's try let's try one more let's try one more i'm gonna move these guys um i'll still put a couple like right here for cryo doodlers um but yeah let's space these out a little bit more so it's uh a little bit tougher for the warriors to get through. Um, yeah, I think something like that. All right, we'll try one more. 
before we wrap things up here. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys are making out on Season 30 and uh, what you think about it overall. Are you enjoying it? Are you not enjoying it? Um, but uh, to, to, for me, I think it's been a, a pretty good season. Um, you know, the spots where it gets grindy are, are pretty... Um, are pretty obvious, so I have no issues there. All right, let's go up like this. Do the same thing as before. If I have my flare, I'll go down. <clears throat> and we'll put the, out the troops nice and early because there's nothing on the on the beach uh, or on the landing zone, rather. So we can get a nice, good early start here. As the warriors take down that side, we can take down this side. And. We'll throw Kavan out, I guess, when we go to come back up and around. Um, <clears throat> but a double shock base with all the mines in the center, that's tough. Like, this guy's got shock launchers. He's got... Uh, he doesn't have boom mines, but he also has mortars. So, that's going to be a little bit tougher for us, like, compared to our base, what he has to get through. So, okay, okay, okay. Let's go like this. Come on, Doc. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta get them off the wall, so I will have to flare, which is a bit unfortunate because those bombers were in a nice position on that corner. Uh, what do we want to shock here? We're gonna hold off for a second and let everyone just get situated. And as those warriors die, we can just bring in more second winds with Kavan. And I think we just gotta let them free clear at this point. I don't think there's really much we can do to uh, speed up this process. Uh, let's shock there. <clears throat> Losing a lot of crowds on that left hand or the right side. And now I think we're pretty well good to flare. 230. So, I mean, again, it's not going to be blazing speed, but it's kind of the best we can do for right now. Let's shock here. I somehow missed that machine gun. And if we can get lucky with where the shock launchers are targeting, then we might be okay. Now, I don't know how this guy's taking so much longer to get through our base. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Mr. Demon. Okay, there we go. So, just like the lights, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just, you know, it, it's... Uh, whew, that's, uh, that's warships. But that's how to use warriors in a bunch of different, um, you know, kind of attack strategies. So, hopefully that helps you guys out if you're on the fence about using them or needed a, a way to switch it up. So... Yeah, it's hit and miss. It's all over the place right now. But I know getting to five, that's going to be our push point. So hopefully we can make the most of that. Get a huge push in a diamond or something like that. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.